Okay, I just finished finishing. I just finished finish what? <laughs> Hello? I just finished making no I didn't make this look. I just finished this video. Yeah, there we go. Uh yeah, I just finished this video and I feel like I didn't actually do an introduction. If I did, this you won't see this, but if I didn't, you're gonna see it. But hi and welcome. This feels really weird for me this now at the end of the video, but at the start of the video. Um this is the get ready with me video that has been long awaited and I feel like everyone was so keen. Oh, I'll actually let you on a bit of a secret, okay? Right, where's my phone? So I put up a poll last night on my Instagram and I said to people like, so like does everyone want to see like a get ready with me or like a, like a fashion video? 87% to 13%. I was the 13%. Me and my main account were the two people that voted for the fashion video and the rest of everybody voted for a get ready with me. I didn't want to film this video, but you guys wanted to see it, so that's why I'm filming it. Kidding, obviously, I just get really insecure when I'm not wearing makeup on camera, but I just need to learn to get used to it. Uh, yeah, it was a really fun video, so I really hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, enjoy. I'll see you later. Peace. Okay, so step number one is to always prime my face. This is like my third tub. Third tub. And it is quite small. It's only 35 mils. Um, but it is, it's literally my life and I don't think I can do my makeup routine if I don't have this on my face. I just feel like my face just doesn't look right. Right, I am actually just editing this video right now. Why am I balding? Literally, why am I balding? Why do I have bald pot pots? <laughs> why do I have bald patches in my head? In my head, I'm going bald. I really like that finish of when my foundation looks really, really dewy. Like, I hate matte foundations. Um, who the hell wants to look like a cardboard box, you know? The way to like maximise the dewiness is to like implement products like so um, to really get the full effect. So this is the Ole Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. You can get this from literally, I think it's Boots you can get it from mainly, yeah. I got this actually in a set of um, three other things. I just think it just makes my foundation always just look so um, like I'm alive. I'm alive but I'm dead. Is anyone else obsessed with TikTok at the moment? Um, I used to go to bed every night and watch YouTube videos for about three hours and now I get into bed and watch TikTok videos for five hours. And it's usually uh, Bryce Hall and Addison. I am obsessed with Bryce Hall. Um, the next thing I'm gonna use is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This again came in that set. Ole Henriksen products, I honestly just swear by them. But the difference with this one, I only like to put this underneath the places where I want brightened. So like my eyes. So the first thing, I'm no not the first thing, this is like the third thing I'm going to do, but the first actual makeup product is my foundation. Now, if you want to put something on your Christmas list and you're in need of some new makeup, you don't know what to buy, you don't wear makeup a lot, or even if you do and you're looking for a new foundation, this is my only foundation I ever use, like literally the only one, um, and I just swear by it, literally swear by it. Um, if you like a dewy finish, if you like a full coverage finish, if you just like... I don't know, NARS like literally kill it with all of their foundations and I've tried quite a few of them but this one is definitely my favourite and um, just so you can like literally just see how, look at that coverage and look how silky and dewy it looks, like, are we seeing this? And I think that's solely down to the Ole Henriksen products and the foundation working so nicely together, hand in hand together and just make my skin look so the next nice. question is, how are you feeling confidence wise? And I'm going to try and open this. This really doesn't want to open. Please, Lord. I'm not even kidding. That took me about 10 hours to open. Is it still not open? There's two layers on it. Are you kidding me? Why is there so much packaging on things? Like, why? Like, what is the need? You just make me so frustrated. I want to rip my hair off. Confidence. Um, so, sorry, before I mention that, um, this is the Revolution Concealer in C2. So, confidence. Um, yeah, I'm actually feeling really good confidence wise. I was actually thinking about this the other day um, And don't get me wrong, obviously I still have like my down days um, But I'm actually, I actually am feeling uh, Relatively more confident um, I, There's nothing really that's come down to it. I feel like after honestly I made that video that I put out um, On my YouTube channel and if you've not already seen it then please do go watch it because it's actually probably one of my favorite videos that I filmed on uh, My channel just because it, it was just so like raw and real and just like uh, something that was really really close to my heart at that time uh, and obviously still is um, and I really did promise myself after I filmed that video that I would like really work on myself and like stop like hating myself so much I know that sounds so sad and deep oh no I'm gonna get gonna get emotional don't get emotional um yeah and it really was just like a really big thing for me just to be like right 
come on, um, snap out of it. Like you just need to learn to love yourself and like, like, and like it's okay. And I actually watched a Madison Sarah video. If you don't actually watch her YouTube videos and like Hannah Renee and Rachel Leary's videos as well, please do. They're the most uplifting people on YouTube ever. They just make me feel so happy. And they actually put a video up the other night and they were speaking about like confidence and um, which is like a little bit of a girl talk really. And it was honestly one of my favorite videos. And I literally sat there glued to the TV and just agreeing with everything that was coming out of their mouths and it just really made me feel so good. Um, but yeah, I actually am feeling a lot more confident uh, in myself and I don't know, in the stuff that I'm doing and I'm not even kidding. When I literally like started this YouTube channel, when I started this Instagram page, um, yeah, that's when things really started to like improve. Like, and it's so sad because like, I used to wake up in the morning um, I don't know, and like the first thing I like ever tell myself was to be like things like, you're so ugly. And like the first thing I'd see in the morning is like walking around to like my mirror, just catch you with myself and then feeling so ugly. Or like when I'd go to like fake tan, you know how you like fake tan like in the mirror so you don't miss any spots. Um, I like couldn't fake tan in the mirror because I would like hate my body that much. Uh, whereas now, like, I'm just not as like, like horrified by myself. Like I've, I really feel like I have like just learned to just be like, um, love myself a lot more and I feel like that's probably one of my biggest achievements of this year and probably will be one of my biggest achievements ever just because of how much of a big deal um, it really is to me and how much of a got like an impact that like, confidence does have on my life um, but in relation to like when I put that video out like before that video uh, I'm feeling miles more confident so thank you so much for asking that question because um, yeah it's really nice to know that like people care and they want to know and they want to like check up so that is so sweet so thank you so much what are you watching on netflix at the moment so mike and i made the smart decision during this like <laughs> like heavy workload period to start homeland again we are obsessed with homeland if you don't know what homeland is um start watching it please if you're into things like um crime um i don't know like it's like a series it's so good honestly like i i'm obsessed there. Right, how do I open this? Really, I'm really struggling with opening things today. <clears throat> but it is actually, I saw this on the Jordan Lipscomb video and she raves about this product and it's the ba- Banana? <laughs> uh, it is the banana baking powder from, I think I got it from Superdrug and it's from Revolution. I really hope it doesn't smell like bananas because I honestly despise bananas. And you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you pitch, pick up another one? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, just to be honest with you. Right, I'm gonna try to open this and I'll be back. <laughs> Why do these things always happen to Ash? Can't be bothered. Look at me. I look like I've just done something really, really naughty. For someone who actually hates bananas, it smells bloody unreal. Oh my god. Um. Right. Well, let's give that a, a proper try, shall we? Um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my sponge in there. Um. I'm actually gonna put some in the lid like this. Yeah, so Jordan Lipscomb actually recommended this in like a video that she put up ages ago. And obviously anything that Jordan Lipscomb likes, I like because she's just unreal. Uh, and I think going in with like a sponge is so much better when putting on like baking powder. I can just tell this is already going to be like the most brightening thing in the world. Um, wow, I like it. We do not need more machine areas since it's spilled everywhere. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Now, this is actually a new product as well. Who do I think I am implementing all these new products into my life? Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen me rave about this product, but this is the Refi, or Refi. I don't really know how you pronounce it. Um, brow products from Jess Hunt. She came out with this like brow product la lane <laughs> range. And I'm obsessed. Like, I really like it. Um, if you're like into that like really fluffy brow look, um, then this is definitely for you. Uh, I think you'll really like this. Again, really good Christmas product for to put on your own Christmas list for your sister, best friend, friends, like whatever. Um, really, really good. I get it in the shade dark because obviously I have black hair and we want to keep our features on our face and on our head matching. Um, yeah, so again, I've kind of gone through my brow routine before on the glow up video with me, but I basically like to under, like outline my brow underneath before I do it over top, which is probably a bit different to how a lot of people like to do it, but it's what works for me. Like, 
literally airbrushed. Like my skin looks so good. Right, the next thing I'm gonna go in with is my blusher. One's from NARS, looks like this. And this is in the shade Orgasm. And then the other one is Milani, which is actually a drugstore. Um, again, get a good a bit on your brush. This is an iconic, hello. This is an iconic London brush. And again, just go over the same places. This one actually has a bit more of like a sheen to it. Right, eyeliner time. But yeah, so I'm gonna go in with some eyelashes. These are, I think they're TL3s, they're not new. These probably do need to be chucked in the bin sometime soon, um, but they are my favorites. I change between which lashes are my favorites all the time. And I've actually got this new trick when it's not new, everyone in their nan probably does this now. I actually stick this eyelash a bit higher up. Hello, to match. It looks like I'm playing the flute. Did you know I actually used to play the flute, everybody? Fun fact about me, yes I did used to play the flute and then I quit and didn't actually end up telling the teacher that I wanted to quit, I just didn't turn up and then ran away and then I basically was running around the whole school, ran into the bathroom, hid in the bathroom and my flute teacher was basically chasing me around the whole school. I also played the guitar once, that didn't last long either because he told me to cut my fingernails and I was like, bitch, no. Right, finally, this is my favourite lip liner ever. I had to get a new one today when I went to Superdrug. It is the NYX one in number, what is it called? Urban Cafe. Because I just... <laughs> They look ridiculous right now, I promise you they'll look fine in a second. And then my favourite lipstick of all time is the Jeffree Star one in Androgyny. I know he's a bit of a controversial character but this lipstick really is so good. Those are a bit funny. Um, these are my two favourite lip glosses. Um, if you want a cheap and affordable one, NYX one, and then a bit more expensive one, the Fenty one. Both are just as good, but I think I'm actually going for the NYX one today. Uh, just because it's my fave. Look how glossy it is. This one is in Madeline. It was really nice to actually have a nice little catch up. I mean, I feel like I don't really know what I talked about, but we'll also find out when I start editing it. Um, I talk so much shit. I don't even know what stuff I end up talking about. Um, but I actually really did enjoy this video and I think I should film more. And it's just, like, I just do love the good conversation, I do. And I feel like it's just a bit of a laugh, to be honest. It's nice to like have that bit of a break from uni and stuff. I know I did touch on talk of, like talking about um, confidence. If you guys do want me to film like an updated confidence video, um, then let me know, because I really would like to film one. I feel like it's probably quite an important thing to talk about and something that like I really should talk about more. Um, because it's a good like little way of like documenting like my progress, it might help someone and whatever. But yeah, let me know if you guys do want to see that because I would be 100% keen to film that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I feel like I didn't answer a lot of questions. Oh well, I probably will see you beforehand. But anyway, have a lovely Christmas. And yeah, spread love, not hate, and peace. Thanks for watching. Why did I just put my middle fingers up? I don't know. Okay, bye. someone over there watching me after I just filmed that and I was just like and he's probably watching me like what the fuck is she doing is she okay no I'm not okay bye